Hello guys, we are back with our next set of video tutorials. In this we, in this set, we are going to cover the one of the most important and easiest chapter of Mathematics 3, that is four year series. Guys, this is the easiest chapter of all the five chapter guys. As in this chapter, there is only one main formula by substituting all the values or solving the same formula with different, different values, you'll be getting the answer. Any problem guys, all the problems will be using a single formula. Okay guys, so now let us go through that formula and we'll be going through some important definitions. Guys, remember in Mathematics 3, we need to learn definitions also. So there is a chance of two marks questions will be definitions. So basically let us go through first what is a Fourier series. Okay, suppose f of x is a function defined in the interval 0 to 2 pi or minus pi to pi. So the difference should be 2 pi. Okay, and the best interval for this is 0 comma 2 pi and minus pi comma pi. Okay, or any other interval f of x can be written as f of x is equals to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. So, this is the formula guys. So, you may ask me that what? What does this a naught and a n and b n refers to? So those are nothing but Fourier questions of the equation or expression f of x guys. Okay. So such series is known as Fourier series of f of x. That's it. I hope now everyone is clear with Fourier series definition. Guys, that's important thing. Make a star if you have a chance. If you have a paper beside you, take it out, take it out and note down the definition so further moving on you may also be asked with Euler's formula okay suppose f of x is a function defined in the interval c comma c plus 2 pi the form the four year series of f of x is given by okay here the interval is c comma c plus 2 pi so anyhow it is also equals to 2 pi only right if you observe this carefully if you substitute 0 here so 0 comma 2 pi and if you substitute minus pi you're gonna get pi comma minus pi that's it okay so for for the intervals like this f of x is equals to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x okay so this is the main formula guys so basically in this we are having three unknowns right a naught a n and b n excuse me oh. I have just told you that they, those are the four year series coefficients. So there are three formulas to find out them guys. That is a naught is equals to 1 by pi integral c to c plus 2 pi as this is the interval lower upper lower upper f of x dx and a n is nothing but 1 by pi integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x cos n x dx. Similarly b n is equals to 1 by pi integral c c plus 2 pi f of x sin n x dx. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on Fourier series and Euler's formula. Guys, this is also an important definition. Please remember these are really important. So now let us learn about periodic function. Basically, suppose a function f of x is said to be f of x plus t is equal to f of x. So this t will be the period. Then t is the least of such value then f of x is said to be a periodic function of period t. So if you want an example, we can take like this. Sin x plus 2 pi is equal to sin x. Yeah, that's true. So t will be our period. So we can say that sin x is a periodic function of period 2 pi. Similarly, like that for tan, it's pi. I hope everyone knows that. So we managed to learn periodic function now. So now let us go through some important, okay, even periodic function is also important, guys. Now let us go through Dirichlet conditions. Guys, this is really important. This you will be finding in few previous year papers. So there are three conditions guys. So the first one is f of x is well defined periodic single valued finite function. Okay, you can, okay, you can write function. Okay, f of x has a finite number of discontinuous at any one period. It should have a finite discontinuity at one period. Yes. And f of x has at most a finite number of maximum and minimum within the interval, within the interval. 
okay guys so now i hope everyone is now clear with the desolate conditions also so now let us go through some basic values which you should learn i hope everyone knows these values guys sin 0 is nothing but 0 sin pi by 2 is nothing but 1 sin pi 0 sin 2 pi 0 sin n pi 0 okay cos 0 1 cos pi by 2 0 cos pi minus 1 cos 2 pi 1 cos n pi minus 1 whole to the power of n so now i hope everyone is now clear with the four definitions guys the four important definitions we have gone through right in this video so in the next video we'll be going through some basic formulas guys some really really basic formulas and that's going to be a really short tutorial thank you thanks for watching